Hi everyone, welcome to GameCraft, the YouTube channel where we take video game characters and bring them to life in the art form known as Papercraft. I'm Mike, the Papercraft designer and artist, and in today's video I have a surprise for everyone. You're in for a treat. I just figured out how to import Half-Life 2 models into the Papercraft software that I use, which means yes, I can Papercraft Half-Life 2 models. So, to get this to work, I was kind of sitting down, we're, we're in quarantine right now for the virus, so uh, I was kind of just playing around with my computer, trying to see what I could figure out with um, some different types of models, and I decided to mess around with Half-Life 2 models. Um, I ended up downloading all kinds of crazy different software, like old software too, it was kind of weird, uh, so I could import the files that I need, so I could extract the files and do all kinds of stuff. So I was able to get some of the models. Um, imported already. So let me show you what I have first of all. Check it out, check it out. Alright, so I have the ant lion here as you can see. And this was kind of like the first one that I wanted to do. I thought the ant lion was uh, definitely an, an awesome creature from the Half-Life universe, so I decided to go ahead and uh, do this one. And here it is, actually imported into the software that I use, the Papercraft software. So it's here, I just have to actually design the template and print it out and actually assemble the model itself, which is pretty lengthy. I have to cut it out, uh, laminate it, glue it together, which it, it takes a couple weeks if not a couple months. So, but yeah, I got this to work. So what I figured that what we would do here today is I would actually go from the uh, start to finish on how I actually get this to work. So I'm going to actually show you the software that I use and hopefully this will give you some insight on how to do it yourself. And also so you can see how long it takes me to do it because it's a pain in the ass, really. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here by checking out the software that I use. So Half-Life 2 has these pack files which compresses all the data into um, kind of like a zip folder. So the zip folders that house all the information are called VPK files. The software that I use is called GCFscape. What this will do is it'll allow me to open up those VPK files and extract the model files that I need. So after I download GCF Scape, I downloaded the most uh, recent version, I'm going to open up a specific VPK file in the Half-Life 2 directory. So if you take a look here, you can see this is my Steam folder. So it's Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Half-Life 2, HL2. So once you're here, there's a bunch of different VPKs to choose from. The one specifically that houses the model files that I need is called HL2 MISC DIR, which is right here. So I would open that up. I actually already had it open, which is what it looks like. So we're going to have a couple different directory folders. The folder that you want to choose is models. And this is going to have all of the models from Half-Life 2. So there's a bunch of them. Uh, and there's even some, some ones here that I haven't considered on paper crafting yet, like the advisor. That'd be pretty cool. The one that I wanted to select, now that I've gotten the ant line prepared, is I wanted to do the Strider. I think the Strider is a pretty cool model, so I think we'll go ahead and work on that. So if I go down here, I believe it's called Combine Strider. Combine Super Soldier. Oh, that'd be a cool one to do. Gotta find it. Combine Strider. Here it is. Okay. So I'm going to extract it using this software. I'm going to extract it to a folder here that I have on my desktop. Let me just name it uh, New Strider. Okay, so we're going to select that folder for extraction, and 
you can see here in the log that it extracted successfully it's done and pretty much that's the only reason we need this software so we're pretty much done with that after you do the extraction I kind of did a bulk extraction I just extracted everything at once but if you were going to cherry pick this is what you'd want to do so now that we have it extracted let's go back over to that folder once I have this model file, it's an MDL file, I have to decompile that model file. So in order to decompile it, I have to use a different uh, computer software program, which is called Crowbar. Crowbar will allow you to select the file that you need. So I'm going to go back down to my desktop where I saved, uh, where I extracted it the first time, and I'm going to select it. I'm then going to select a output folder. So the output folder I'm going to basically put in the same directory. So let's see here. And I'm just going to create a new folder. Alright, so let's go ahead and decompile. Right here you'll click decompile. And you should see it decompile everything, and it says decompiling has now finished. And we're done with that. So next what I'm going to do, now that it's decompiled, is I'm going to go to my modeling software. The modeling software that I use here is called Milkshape. And excuse my cat, apparently he wants to get some face time. You're good. So I'm going to go to the Milkshape model editor. This is a really old model editor, by the way. I'm going to go to import Half-Life SMD. Well, first of all, I'm going to clear this because I already have an ant line open. So I'm going to file new, import Half-Life SMD. And the SMD file that I need is called Strider Reference, which is right here. I'm going to open that up. And it's going to ask you what you want to import. So there's triangles, skeletons. You just want to import everything. So this will take a little bit of time to import. It's kind of uh, calculating everything. And here we go. Here's my Strider. Look at that little bastard. So as you can see here, it is now imported into this this editor. Now. Uh, Papercraft is very finicky. I have to import it, or I'm sorry, once it's imported, I have to export it now into a file type that Pepakura Designer, which is the Papercraft software, that Pepakura Designer will accept. Now, it'll accept lightweight files, it'll accept object files, which is a pretty simple 3D file. Now, I'm going to export now that, I, now that I have it here in Milkshape, I'm going to export it into an object file. So here's object. Yes, I don't care. And I'm going to save it in my Strider folder. And I'm just going to name this Strider. Boom. All right, it's exported. So here's my Papercraft software. I'm going to open it now. Go find that OBJ file. Strider, here it is. Open it. Alright, so now that it is imported, here it is. And geez, 21 inches. That's uh that's gonna be a pretty big model. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put it up on the top shelf or something, because I don't have room for it. Um but yeah, it's all here. As you can see. Now, as you can tell, though, there is a problem. There's no texture. What are we going to do about that? Well, it turns out that the texture files for Half-Life 2 are actually in a different directory. So we're going to go back to the GCF scape, which was the um, pack explorer that I told you you didn't need anymore. I lied. We're going to open up a different VPK file this time. The VPK file that we need is something about textures. Um, 
Let's see. What options do we have? HL2 Textures DIR. So that's the one we need. We're going to open that up. Materials. And it looks like one of the folders in this directory is models. And then I would assume combine strider. Yeah, there it is. Combine strider. So we have some VTF files. Now these should house the information that we need for the texture. So we're going to extract those. Let me go ahead and um, extract these to the folder that I had created earlier. Alright, so those are extracted. Let's go back to it. Alright, so there is another piece of software that you need for the textures. So these texture files are called VTF, Valve Texture File. Pretty simple. So the software that I use for this, I, I don't even know what this is called. Oh, it's called VTF Edit. So just download that, VTF Edit. Now this is the Antlion one that I had earlier. So I'm just going to open up a new one here and I'm going to, actually, you know what, I can, I've already linked it to that type of file, so I can just open it here. So there's a decal sheet, there's a decal sheet normal, um, there's a strider normal and a strider fong, I don't know. Decal sheet, I assume, that, that might be it, and let's see, let's take a look at the other one. Yeah, it's going to be decal sheet, it's going to be this one. Okay. So, well, now that I have it here, you can't import a VTF file into Pepecura. You have to export it into a type of file that you can use. So I'm going to go to File Export while I'm in the VTF Edit, and I'm going to export it into a different type of file. And we're just gonna just gonna put a zero one after it. That way I know. And I'm going to change it to PNG. Okay, save it. All right, it's saved. So here's my Strider. I'm going to put it, put that that texture I just exported on top of it. Let's take a look at it. And this looks like it. Boom! Look at that. So you saw it here, folks. That's how I do it from start to finish. And then once I get this far into it, I can just click this unfold button that's right here. And it puts it into a template editing phase. Now this software is not free, by the way. I forgot to mention that. The um, Pepecura Designer is something that you have to buy a license for, which I have. So this looks pretty good, right? So I just have to get into editing it. Uh, I hope this information was really helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions, but we'll go ahead and sign off there. Thanks again for watching, everybody. GameCraft, out. Laszlo, the finest mind of his generation, to come to such an end.